Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So the last Stock by Love review which I did was back in February this year. So when Stock by Love contacted me for a collaboration, I thought maybe I should do a review of their new collection, the new clothes. Because obviously in the last one year they must have changed their quality. So I just wanted to check that. So I decided to do this sort of haul and review video. So how this goes is I'm gonna wear one item for one entire day in my office so that I can give a better review like if there's an issue with the material or anything else. And yeah, I have all the clothes here so what are we waiting for? Oh I know, make sure you hit that red button, like this video and also comment down your favorite item from this video and now let's go. So for Monday I decided to wear these olive cargo pants. They are the usual high-waisted pants, very comfortable, very light, very loose, very airy. I mean, I don't even feel like I'm wearing some pants. It's one thing, it is a task to iron it because the material is so... I don't know how to explain. It's the kind of material that has a lot of creases. So, it's a task to iron it. But it looks really nice. I love how it fits me. I ordered a medium because small, which is last time we have time. I really love these pants. First of all, I am a huge olive color lover. These pants, the material is much better than my last pants. The only issue that I have with these pants is that it gets creased very easily. So yeah, other than that, these pants are a huge thumbs up from me. Like seriously, I love it. They are so comfortable for summer. So for Tuesday, I decided to wear this tank top which is checkered slip pencil skirt. Now, it's been a year I've been working here and I've never worn a skirt in my office. I don't know why. I'm just not a skirts person but this one is pretty good. I actually like it. This, I always had a feeling that checkered skirts would be very formal and you can't experiment with them but it's not like that. They actually go pretty well with coated shirts and t-shirts. I'm very really excited because it's my first time in a skirt in my office. My first day at office in a skirt was amazing. I got so many compliments because Usually the formal skirts are very plain, like usually people go for a very dark color formal skirt but I went for a plaid one. Yeah. The only issue I had was this was like an A-line skirt, like it did not hug my body properly so I got it stitched from the sides just to give an hourglass on the figure and yeah, I love it. I think this was very comfortable, the material was really soft. Again, a thumbs up. So for Wednesday, I'm wearing this white petal top with this red and black uh, stripe details. My first impression of this top is, it's really nice but it didn't fit me very well. Like this strap was really big so I had to get it stitched. And I personally love the style, I only, I only got it because of the style. This top is something which makes me feel very fancy. Like, yeah, I like it. For this top, I don't know if it's a hit or a miss. I really love the stripes and the plain top and the ruffles at the end, the peplum thing. But the material was not up to the mark, I have to say it. The first day when I was ironing it for the shoot, it got ruined a little bit. Like, as if the material is a bit jata it's like that. So the material of this top is something that you have to be very careful with. But I have to say the style is too good. I got so many compliments for this top. I think it's it's a very fancy formal top if I wear it with a black skirt or even with jeggings. I don't care about the material. I really like the top and how it fits me. So today I'm wearing my most favorite buy from this haul which is this jacket. This olive jacket. It has two patches. One is this and one on the back. If you've been following me, I love olive color and I already have a jacket from Stock by Love but this one is so good. It's not perfect for your winters but it's definitely good for that transition period and I've been obsessed with denim jacket for a year and be prepared to see this even more because this is so cool, so cool, so cool. I think hands down this is my most favorite item from this haul, the jacket. Again, for the color, the quality, everything is top notch. I have zero complaints with this jacket. I mean, I can't even complain about its quality because it's good. It's really good. You can't really wear it for summers, but it's good for a transition period or at night when it gets a little chilly. <laughs> I love it. 
I really love it. The jacket is actually very stiff. Its shape is not very good. It looks like a proper good quality jacket, not the cheap one. So yeah, those were the four items that I wore for four entire days. I think my most favorite thing was the jacket and the skirt and the pant. The only thing I didn't like was the top. But I like the style. I didn't like the quality. I have to mention this. I think Stock by Love has really improved on their quality, especially the bottoms. The pants which I got last time was some of the major issue was that anybody could see my panty line. This time, I did not face any such issue. The only issue was with the top. So if you're buying a top which is like that lycra wala material, that was night suit wala material. That was a little patla wala material. Just be very careful with it because unknowingly you might. Damage it. So yeah, that's all for this review. I really hope you guys liked it. Please let me know which was your favorite item amongst these. If I have to choose one, it has to be that olive jacket. I love all the three things here. Top thoda niche because of the quality thing, but the jacket is so perfect that I love it the most. So the olive jacket is my favorite buy from this haul. Um, it's not even a haul. I can't even say it's a haul. Anyways, do let me know which was your favorite item from the mini review thing, and yeah, I'll see you next week with another haul or review or I don't know. Bye.